I will show you how to save Telegram messages that you get to your bot to Google Sheet. First, we will go here to bot father, at bot father, and we will say a slash new bot to create a new bot. I will call it tutorial bot and give it some uh, name tutorial bot, tutorial, some numbers bot. And I will copy this uh, token. Now go to the link in the description below and you're going to open this uh, collab notebook and you're going to paste token here. Then go to make.com, create a new scenario. Click here to create a new scenario and we need to add a webhook and a custom webhook and create a webhook. Telegram bot. And I will copy this address and go back to my Google Colab and paste it into webhook URL. Now we need to set our bot to send information data to this webhook, our make.com webhook. So I'm just going to run this. And if, if it says for you, uh, are you sure you want to run this? Just press yes, it's 100% safe code. It's just asking you because you are not the author of this code and it's me. And now if I press OK and I press run once, if I go to my uh, bot, if I just say start, it will immediately detect a message here that I said message uh, text start. So now let's create Google Sheets and add a row. And you want to add a new Google connection. So sign in with Google, connect, make the connection. And then you're going to say select by path in my drive and click here to choose file. And then I'm going to search, search for the uh, tutorial that I, I made here. So tutorial. So I made three fields, chat ID, name and message. This will be Telegram chat ID. You don't need to save this, but it's good to have it. Sheet name is sheet one. Uh, chat ID is going to be here, chat ID, and then name will be uh, from first name. I'm going to make some space and last name, and message will be message uh, text. Okay, so now if I run this once, if I go here and say, hello, how are you? It should immediately do this, and now I have this chat ID and I have my message. If you want to reply back, uh, so let me say Telegram bot and send a text message or reply. Chat ID, we're going to say the same chat ID that we received from, so we're going to set to this chat ID. But before that, we need to add the connection because we don't, you don't have the connection probably, so you need uh, this token. And I'm going to just say, like, whatever, tutorial connection and token and save. And uh, we're going to say text, just some reply text. So this can be a custom text, and we will generate this with ChatGPT. I will show you how to do it, but first let's just write this. And then if I run this once, if I go here, send whatever message, we will get some text back. And we will also get this message saved. So now let's uh, add ChatGPT. So I'm going to go here and add a module, ChatGPT. And I will create a completion. Now go to platform.openai.com slash API dash keys. And we need to create a new secret key. I'm just going to call it tutorial. And we will copy. And we will add a new connection. And this will be like this, API key and name. So the model, I'm going to choose the last uh, Omni model. And then the message, uh, whatever. So we need to say, like, just reply to the user's message. And that's going to be the system message. And we're going to say add a new message and now roll the user. And content is going to be the text that user sent. 
max tokens, let's just say 500, whatever, and press OK. And why is this? OK, so we need to press OK again for some reason. So if I go here in the Telegram chatbot, now instead of sending this as text, I will say result and press OK. And now if I run this once, uh, how are you today? It should go here and reply, thank you for asking. So this is how you connect uh, all of this stuff. Uh, and if you, for example, want to also save messages from this, you can add another uh, add a row, or you, you can yeah, add a row here and then save a message from uh, ChatGPT as well. Thank you for watching. I forgot to say, uh, if you want this to run permanently, then you just click here to turn this on, and this will run permanently, and don't forget to save. So running once is just for testing, but turn this on to run so you can exit and run permanently.